Welcome to Inside the Studio with Greg Wirth. And in this episode, I'm gonna demonstrate some mixing techniques that can be used for guitar, bass, things like that. And um, I'm using a lot of Plugin Alliance stuff. And I just wanted to demonstrate some cool features that you can do. So for an example, this song is called Cold Sweat by Jeremiah Mountain. Um, you might be familiar with the drum tracks. I use these to demonstrate drumatom and auto align in a previous video. So this is the full session here. And um, I'll mention that it was a much larger session. I've comped things down to be more of a manageable 24, 25 tracks, um, which is sometimes a good idea so that you can um, manage the files and you know keep track of what's going on in a mix. So here's my drum tracks, bass, um, using the BX Opto, which is one of my favorite compressors for bass. And I'm using the BX Bass Dude. So just to start, I'll demonstrate this. Um, this is just a bass DI track that I'm compressing. And then I'm using a send that is pre-fader and I'm sending it to an aux track that has the bass dude inserted. So that's given me a nice blend there. So just for an example, I'll show you what it sounds like without the amp, just the DI alone. And I'll start without the compressor as well. So what that's doing, um, obviously I have a sidechain filter in there, which is one of my favorite features on a compressor. So I'm telling this compressor to ignore basically everything from uh, just under 300 hertz and below. And I got a medium speed on it and it's, you know, getting a healthy amount of compression and I have it dialed back about 60% or so. So it's just really clamping down on the upper mid frequency so it's keeping that bass right in the center of the mix and not moving around. So here I'll show you what the, the amp sounds like. So it's got a nice little crunch. You know I just got a, um, the volume about three and the treble eight and just you know the bass at 12 o'clock. So it's not doing a lot. It's just getting a little of that amp saturation. So I'll give you, I'll demonstrate it with them together. So it just gives a nice little dimension. I mean, this is, just a rough mix. I'm not doing anything um, particular here. I just set this up so I can do a, a demonstration for you guys. All right, so moving down, um, this is a lead guitar track and I bounce it down to stereo just so I can, you know, manage it. And there was a lot of compression going on during the recording. So for this example, I didn't feel the need to add yet another compression to it. So, um, this is kind of a cool thing that uh, I've been using and I recently did a giveaway for this, which is the VSM-3 Mix Satellite by Brainworks and also Vertigo Sound. And um, it's fantastic. And basically what I was able to do with this on the lead guitar, because I was really happy with how it sounded, I'm just using this to kind of enhance some of the harmonics and give a little more dimension. So I'll play the track with the mix satellite and bypass and then I'll engage it and you can kind of hear what it does. It's not super drastic, but it's nice and subtle, adds maybe a little air, some cool, rich harmonics. So 
So as you can see, it's not super drastic, but it lifts it out of the track a little bit. It makes it feel a little more dimensional. So I think that's very cool. Okay, so now that I've explained what's going on with the bass and the guitar, let's hear it in context with the track, just the intro, and then I'll move on and show you what I did on the other guitar parts. So here's, here we go. Okay, so it's a straightforward rock track, very raw and dirty sounding. I, I tend to like that kind of stuff. So moving on, um, there's a track, I just call it Guitar Licks. Um, it was several tracks that I bounced down to one stereo, manageable track. And again, you know, this stuff was already compressed on the way in. So I try not to do that too many times during the mix. So I just... Um, you know, I pulled up the digital VX or digital V3 mix plugin EQ by Brainworks and, you know, just give it a little sweetener. I got a little cut here close to 2k and then cutting some low and boosting a little 200 something and then adding some air. So here's what this track sounds like and I'll bypass it. I'll bypass it to start. So it takes a little bit of the, you know, the, the mud or the scratchiness around the 2K and um, it just makes it a little poke out a little more. Um, and down here, it's this really cool tremolo chords going on. And um, I I compress this one because it's got uh, a lot of ring, ringing out notes and things like that. So I want to use a BX Opto and make it a little slow and just compress it so it can level out everything and you can it can be heard. And here, here it is. And so I added the BX Opto and then I also added a little bit of EQ from the BX console. So I'll show you what it sounds like without anything. And then I'll add the compressor, then the EQ. So basically with the compressor, it's just extending the notes and, you know, leveling everything out and the EQ, just clearing it up, uh, making it poke out and sit nicely together. And next here is a guitar effects track, which has a lot of drastic panning going on. And it's just some texture based stuff. And this is during the solo section. So it, it's pretty cool. Um, so to start, I used the Lindell uh, 500, the 7X, and it's basically like a FET compressor. And uh, this is a cool version because it has a wet dry knob, which is extremely useful. So I have a medium attack and a pretty slow release on this so that I, I want it to kind of sit and uh, just, you know, blend it in the track really nicely. So here it is without the compressor. So that's pretty cool. It just extends the notes, something similar that I did with the Trem guitar. And um, so here is the BX console EQ and just cleaning, cleaning it up a little bit so that it can fit into the track nicely. <laughs> so.
So it brightened it up. It, it kind of lifted it and made it sound a little more dimensional. Um, a lot of this stuff was recorded with effects through the amp. So it tends to be really muddy when you do that. So um, just use, use the BX console for a little bit of correctional EQ. Okay, so um, I'll just, I'll play the solo section and hear what the whole track sounds like in the mix. So there you have it. Um, I hope you learned something today and feel free to email me questions that you have. And down the line, I'll break out this session a little more and show you what's going on with the drums. And I'll play the vocal and I'll explain some effects. But from now, just for now, I just want to demonstrate some stuff that I was using from Plugin Alliance. So thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and also my newsletter on my website. I'm always giving away amazing things for free, um, microphones, plugins, you name it. You know, got a lot of really cool things coming out in the next couple weeks, couple months. So please subscribe and don't miss out on your chance. And thanks for watching and I'll check you out next time.